Okay, good morning everyone, um, or evening or afternoon, whenever you are deciding to tune into your Taekwondo. Um, so I'm just going to go through some theory with you guys today. Um, I'm going to try and edit it so that you can choose which belt you want to do. But I'm just going to work my way through. Um, so, yeah, so we'll start with white belt. Um, so the Korean that you guys need to know. Um, so punch, which is Jogi. Four fist, which is up Jumuk. Um front rising kick, which is up cha oligi. So let's go through this three again. So can you remember what punch was? Jogi, if you got that right. Four fist. Up Jumuk and front rising kick. Up cha oligi. Okay. And the next ones in your list are outer forearm block, which is back at Palmok Maki. So that's outer forearm is back at Palmok and block is Maggie. So outer forearm block is back at Palmok Maki. And then four direction punch, which is side jogi. Okay. Um so then just I'll pick out the key bits from the other ones. So reverse is bandai. Um and then the different sections. So the low section is Najunda. Middle section is Kawunda and high section is Nupunda. Okay, so that's low section Najunda, middle Kawunda, and high Napunda. Okay, um, so then you've just got some other bits to know. So, what is Taekwondo? Um, and it defines Taekwondo as the Korean art of self defense. Um, then you need to know what TAGB stands for. So, that's the Taekwondo Association of Great Britain. Um, and then your uniform, um, so that's called a dobok. Your belt, which is called a tie. The training hall where we train, um, which at the moment is anywhere that you want, that's called your dojang. Okay. Um, and we'll just go through, so you know the tenets of taekwondo, so we repeat those at the start of the class. So they're courtesy, integrity, perseverance, self-control and indomitable spirit. And the tenets are something that we should live our lives by as well as just do taekwondo by. Um, and it also wants you to know what white signifies. So white signifies innocence, beginner with no previous knowledge of Taekwondo. So done, there's a bit of curry in there for you. Um, and then the next thing I just want you to know are some of your basic stances. So you've got a tension stance. So that's when you stand at the front. And then you've got, um, and that's chariot soggy. So that's when you hit your hands at the side. So that's chariot. So that's a tension stance. Stance is soggy, so they've all got, so it's chariot soggy. Um, and then your sitting stance, which is anon soggy. So the sitting is anon and the stance bit is soggy. Walking stance, which is gunan soggy. And L stance, which is neonja soggy. So, you know, you've got a bit to go through there. Um, I would play the video back and see if you can answer the questions before I do. Um, so what I'm going to do now is just read the question and the answer just slowly for you guys to try and test yourself as well. So I'll say the word that I want you to try and say and you try to say it, try and think what it is, okay? So punch, jogi, four fist, up jimuk, front rising kick, up chaologi, out of forearm block, Back up palm on Maki. Four directional punch. Side to um, Reverse. Bandai. Low section. Najunde. Middle section. Kawunde. High section. Napunde. Uniform. Daybok, belt, tie, training hall, dojang, attention stance, chariot soggy, parallel ready stance, nirani jumbi soggy, sitting stance, anon soggy, 
walking stance, gunnan soggy, L stance, nianja soggy. Okay, so I hope that you guys did well there, um, and that's your white belt theory. Okay, so we're going to move on to the yellow stripe theory, which I think is probably easier than the white belt one. Um, so the first thing is the name of the pattern, so you're doing pattern chonji. The uh, second thing is how many movements it's got, so chonji has 19 movements. Um, and chonji has a meaning, so it means heaven and earth. Um, and the pattern split into two parts, one to represent the heaven and one to represent the earth. And then you've got your kuriya, um, so double punch, so we know the punch is jirogi and double is do, so double punch is do jogi. Then we've got front snap kick, which is at chabusuki. So that's double punch, do jogi, front snap chip, at chabusuki. Then you've got walking ready stance. Um, so we know that ready stance is jumbi. Um, we know that stance is soggy, so walking ready stance. And we know that walking stance is gunnan soggy. So walking ready stance is gunnan jumbi soggy. Um, so it's walking ready stance, gunnan, jumbi, soggy. And then we've got inner forearm middle block. So that's an, palmok, kawanda, maki. Um, and then so that back up, palmok, kawanda, maki is outer forearm block. So that's inner forearm block is an, palmok, kawanda, maki. And then you've got knife and side strike. Knife and is songkal. So you've got um, knife and side strike is songkal, yop, togi. Rising block is Chokyo Maki. Step turning, which is a bit of a different form, so that's Omgyo Didamo Dogi. Okay. And pattern, which is Tol. Okay, so they're all of the ones that you need to know. Um, so it's not that many, that much. Obviously, go back to your white belt theory, so I'll just read them out again um, and you can try and answer them before I tell you the answer. Um, so, name of the pattern Chonji. How many movements have it got? 19. What does it mean? Okay, so Chonji literally means heaven and earth. In the Orient, it is interpreted as the creation of the world or the beginning of human history. Therefore, it is the initial pattern learnt by the beginner. This pattern consists of two similar parts, one to represent the heaven and the other earth. So, for the kids, just so try and remember it, is meaning heaven and earth. It's got two parts, one to represent the heaven, one to represent the earth. And that it's... Um, the beginning of the human history, so that's why it's the first pattern that you guys learn. Um, okay, so on to your end, so double punch, do jogi, front snap kick, up chibushigi, walking ready stance, gun and jumpy soggy, in a forearm middle block. And Palmok Kondamaki, Knife Hand Side Strike, Sonkao Yot Toigi, Rising Block, Chokyo Maki, Step Turning, Ongyo Didamo Dogi, and Pattern Tull. Okay, very good, what up? Okay, so next thing is your yellow belt theory. Um, so name of the pattern that yellow belts do is Dangan. It's got 21 movements, and it was named after the holy Dangan, who was the legendary founder of Korea in the year 2333 BC. So 33s, 23333 BC. Um, and your Korean, so you've got knife hand guarding block, which is Songkal Debi Maki. And then you've got forearm guarding block, which is Palmok Debi Maki. So back again, so knife hand garden block, Songkal Debi Maki. Forearm garden block is Palmok Debi Maki. So remember, knife hand garden block, forearm garden block. And then you've got a high punch. So remember, all the punches in Dangan are high section. So your high punch is Nipunda Jogi. You've got twin forearm block, which is this one. That's San Palmok Maki. Outer forearm inward block, which is back up palmok, anuro maki. 
and then you've got turning kick. So remember, kick is chaggy, and turning is dolio. So you've got dolio chaggy. You've got back fist downward strike. So that's dung jumuk nario to you. And then they want you to know what yellow signifies. So yellow signifies earth, on which the plant sprouts and takes root as ta the taekwondo foundation is being laid. So quite a lot of different theory words in there. Um, so go back to the start of the video, pause it, and then try and test yourself. So um, we'll go through that now, try and answer. So name of the pattern, dangan. How many movements? 21. What does dangan mean? Dangan is named after the legendary founder of Korea in the year 233 BC. Knife hand guarding block. Songkal debimaki. Forearm guarding block. Palmok debimaki. High punch. Nipunde jirugi. Twin forearm block. Sang palmok magi. Outer forearm inward block. Back up palmok anure maki. Turning kick. Dolio chaki. Back fist downward strike. Dung jumuk nario tarigi. And what does yellow signify? Yellow signifies the earth from which the plant sprouts and takes root as the taekwondo foundation is being made. Well done. So next up we've got green stripe theory. So the name of your guy's pattern is Dosan. It's got 24 movements and the meaning is Dosan is the pseudonym of the patriot Ann Chang Ho who devoted his entire life to furthering the education of Korea and its independent movement. Then the theory you guys have to know is outer forearm high block, so that's back up palmok napunde maki. Straight fingertip thrust, which is son sonka tulgi. Release from a grab, which is shapio sultai. So let's go through those three again. So outer forearm high block is back up palmok napunde maki. Straight fingertip thrust is son Sonka Tulgi. Release from a grab is Japio Sultai. Back fist high side strike is Dung Jumuk Napunde Yop Toigi. So back fist high side strike, Dung Jumuk for back fist, Napunde for high, side is Yop, and strike is Toigi. So back fist high side strike, Dung Jumuk Napunde Yop Toigi. Outer forearm high wedging block. So outer forearm again, back up palm lock. High napunde. And wedging is hetchio and maggi for block. So your outer forearm high wedging block is back up palm lock, napunde, hetchio, maggi. Side piercing kick. Side is yop. And we do yop chajirugi. So it's like a punch because it's piercing. So side piercing kick is yop chajirugi. Knife hand block is Songkal Maki. And knife hand inward strike is Songkal again for knife hand. Inward is Anyo. High Napunde strike Toigi. So knife hand inward high strike is Songkal Anyo Napunde Toigi. Okay. Let's go through that again. Um, pause it, try and answer before I do. So, name, name of the pattern? Dosan. How many movements? 24. Meaning? Dosan is the pseudonym of the patriot Ang Chang Ho, who devoted his entire life to furthering the education of Korea and its independent movement. Outer forearm high block. Back at Palmok Nupunde Maki. Straight fingertip thrust. Son Sonka Tulgi. Release from a grab. Japio Sultai, back fist high side strike, Dung Jumuk Napunde Yop Toigi, outer forearm high wedging block, 
Bakat, Palmok, Nipunde, Hecho, Mikey. Side piercing kick. Yokcha Jodi. Knife hand block. Sonka Mikey. And knife hand inward high strike. Songal Eniro Napunde Tarigi. Good, well done, guys. Green belt theory now. Um, so, the name of your guys' pattern is Wan Yo and it's got 28 movements. The meaning of Wan Yo is that Wan Yo was the noted monk who introduced Buddhism into the Silla dynasty in the year 686 AD. And the Korean you guys have to know is close ready stance A, so that's when you do this, and that is Moa Jumbi Sogi A. Foot shifting, which is Jajun Bal. Fixed stance, which is Go Jong Sogi. So let's go through that just again. So close ready stance A is Moa Jumbi Sogi A. Foot shifting is Jajun Bal. And fixed stance is Go Jong Sogi. Then you've got inner forearm circular block, so that's the big circular block that you guys do. So you do inner forearm circular block is an palm block at the Limiomaki. And then you do palm inward block, which is Son Badak Anuro Maki. Vertical stance, which is Sujik Sogi. Uh, reversed side piercing kick, so reverse is Bandai. And remember from your green stripe theory that side piercing kick is Yop to Jirugi, so Reverse side piercing kick is Bandai Yop to Jirugi. Reverse knife hand high reverse strike is Songkal Dung, because that's reverse knife hand, Nupunde to Yugi. And then they want you to know that green is the plant's growth as Taekwondo skills are developed. Okay, so you might want to go over those again and then just try and answer them when I'm answering them here. So, name of your pattern. One year. How many movements? 28. What does it mean? One year was the noted monk who introduced Buddhism into the Silla dynasty in the year 686 AD. Close ready stance A. Mara Jumbi Sogi A. Foot shifting. Jajan Bao. Fixed stance. Go Jong Sogi. In a forearm circular block. And palm block to Lemie Maki. Palm inward block. Sombadak and Nero Maki. Vertical stance. Sujik Sogi. Reverse side piercing kick. Bandai Yop to Jirugi. Reverse knife hand high reverse strike. Songkal Dung Napunda Tarigi. And what does green symbolise? The plants go for the Taekwondo skills today. Blue Stripe Theory. Um, there's quite a lot to learn in this one, so definitely pause the video, go back, test yourself, do what you can. Uh, so the name of your guys' pattern is Yulgok, and that's got 38 movements. And Yulgok is the pseudonym of the great philosopher and scholar Yi Ai, who was nicknamed the Confucius of Korea. The 38 degrees of this pattern refer to his birthplace on 38 degrees latitude, and the diagram represents the scholar. So the theory you guys need to know, palm high hucking block, which is Sombadak Nupunda Gulcha Maki. Front elbow strike, which is up, palk up to Rigi. So up is front, palk up is elbow, to Rigi is strike. So front elbow strike is up, palk up to Rigi. Twin knife hand block is Sang Songkal Maki. Jumping is Twiggy. So let's go back through those again. So palm high hooking block is Sombadak Nupunda Gulchimaki. Front elbow strike is up, palk up to Rigi. Twin knife hand block is Sang Song Kaumaki and jumping is Twiggy. Then you've got two step sparring, which is Ibo Matsuki. X fist pressing block, which is Keucha Jumak Nulio Maki. Side punch, which is Yop Jirugi. Remember, side is Yop, punch is Jirugi. So 
side punch is Yot Jogi. Twin vertical punch is San Suo Jogi. Palm up Rugabok is Sombadak Olio Maki. Side elbow thrust is Yop Palfa Twiggy. Knee kick is Mora Chaki. Flat fingertip thrust is often Sonka Togi. And twin upset punch is Sang Dweejbo Togi. So like I said, there's a lot in there, so definitely pause the video, go back, try and learn it, and then I'll test you now. So name of your guys pattern. Your gok, how many movements? 38. What's the meaning of your gok? Your gok is the pseudonym of the great philosopher and scholar Yi, nicknamed the Confucius of Korea. The 38 degree patterns, 38 movements of this pattern refer to his birthplace on the 38 degrees latitude and the diagram represents the scholar. Palm high hooking block. Sandrak Nupunde Gulcha Maggie. Front elbow strike. Up, pal cut the two even. Twin knife arm block. Sang Song Kao Maggie. Jumpy. Twiggy. Two steps by. Aibei Matsuki. X fist pressing block. Kyocha Jumuk Nulio Maki Side Punch Yop Jogi Twin Vertical Punch San Siro Jogi Palm Upward Block Sambadap Olio Maki Side Elbow Fist Yop Palka Tugi Knee kick, more chugging, flat fingertip thrust, often some cut tooling, and twin upset punch. Sign, three to break, tooling. Good. Blue belt theory. So, your guy's pattern is chungan. And it's got 32 movements in it. Chungun is named after the patriot An Chungun, who assassinated Hirobu Nito, the first Japanese governor general of Korea, known as the man who played the leading part in the Korea and Japan merger. There are 32 movements of this pattern to represent Mr. An's age when he was executed in the Louis Sheng prison in 1910. You have to know close ready center B, that is Mera Jumbi Soggy B, rear foot stance, which is Dwit Bao Soggy. Reverse knife arm block, which is Song Kao Dong Maki. Upper elbow strike, which is Wee Pao Kup Togi. Let's go back through those first ones. So close ready center B, Mara Jumbi Soggy B. Rear foot stance, Dwit Bao Soggy. Reverse knife arm block, Song Kao Dong Maki. Upper elbow strike, which is Wee Pao Kup Togi. Then you have X for rising block, which is Kao Cha Jumuk. Chokyo Maki, Low Stunt, which is Nacho Soggy, Palm Pressing Block, which is Sombrak Nulio Maki, Angle Punch is Gyocha Jogi, U Shape Block, which is Degucha Maki, and Blue signifies the heaven towards which the plant matures into a towering tree as training in Taekwondo progresses. So let's test you guys on that. So, what's your pattern called? Chungun, how many movements? 32. What's Chungun named after? Chungun is the patriot of An Chungun who assassinated Hiro Benito, the first Japanese governor general of Korea and known as the man who played the leading role in the Korean Japan merger. There are 32 movements in this pattern to represent Mr. An's age when he was executed in Louis Sheng prison in 1910. Close ready stands B. Marriage and be soggy B. Rear foot stunts. Dwit bow soggy. Reverse knife and buck. Song cow Debbie Mackey. Sorry, reverse knife and buck is Song cow Dung Mackey. Sorry if I got that right. 
Upper elbow strike. We palk up to Igi. X fist rising block. Kyocha Jimak Chokyo Maki. Low stance. Nacho Soggy. Palm pressing block. Sombadak Nugio Maki. Angle punch. Diokcha Jogi. U shape block. Degucha Maki. And what does blue signify? Blue signifies the heaven, towards which the plant matures into a towering tree. Its training in Taekwondo progresses. Well done. Red Stripe Theory. So, the name of your guys' pattern is Toigo. How many movements? 37. And the meaning is that Toige is the pen name of the notice scholar Yi Wang, 16th century AD, an authority on Neo Confucianism. The 37 movements of this pattern refer to his birthplace on the 37 degrees latitude, and the diagram represents scholar. The theory that you guys have to know is upset fingertip thrust, which is Dujiban Songkut Tui, side back strike, which is Yok Dui Toigi, twin elbow side thrust, which is Sang Palka Yok. W shape block, which is Sanmaki. Let's go back through those. So upset fingertip thrust, Stridjiban Sankut Togi. Side back strike is Yok Dui Tuigi. Twin elbow side thrust is San Palka Yok Togi. W shape block is Sanmaki. Then we've got double forearm pushing block, Du Palmok Miro Maki. One step sparring, which is Ilbo Matsaki. Now we've got some foot parts for you guys to know. So ball of the foot is apple country. Your instep is bow down. Your knee is more up. Your toes, bow cut. And your back's all dwick country. So try and learn those and I'll just test you on them now. So what's your guys pattern called? It's a toy game. How many movements? 37. What's the meaning of toy game? Toige is the pen name of the notice scholar Yi Wang, 16th AD, an authority on Neo Confucianism. The 37 movements of this pattern refer to his birthplace on a 37 degrees latitude, and the diagram represents scholar. Upset fingertip thrust, Dweeji Bun Songkut Togi, side back strike, Yok Dwee Togi, twin elbow side thrust, Sang Palmok. Pal cup yop togi, so twin elbow side thrust is sang pal cup yop togi. W shape block, just remember that one. Sanmaki, double forearm pushing block. Do pal mok miramaki, one step sparring. Ilbo matsaki, ball of the foot. Up country, in step. Bow down and knee more up, toes, bow cut, back sole, do it country, well done. 